hello welcome back to my channel I hope you're having an amazing day so today I just wanted to show you what a whole year of decluttering looks like uh, with before and after footage and I'm gonna show you the whole entire year from beginning just starting decluttering till the end if you're new here my name is Shannon and my channel is all about simple living and becoming minimalist hit subscribe to join and tap the bell to never miss a video Emmett's room before we started decluttering. During the declutter, we had so many toys. It took a long time to go through them all. And after, six months later, and a year after decluttering. Here's the closet, all the clothes are in here. Still gotta figure out what we're doing with this. Fire station, all oh, these books. So many books, but we really do, and here's even more books. We read all these books. We read tons of books. Maybe we need to get more rid of more stuff to really have them share this room. But, very happy to say it's all in this room. Now we have to be organized because they're sharing a room. My towels before and after the clean out. Before we decorated for Christmas, it was the perfect time to go through everything. This can go. I went through our Christmas decor and got rid of a huge box of junky stuff that we didn't want to use. Donating this box. Our downstairs utility closet was full of bins. I was able to get rid of a ton of stuff we didn't use. I read that you shouldn't be buying bins to store your stuff. You should be getting rid of the stuff that you're putting into the bin. So many just in case items. And this is the pile of stuff that is going. Here we have all these bins empty. This stuff's all going. I love how much space we now have in the closet. I did a challenge, 60 items in 60 minutes. These need to go. This, gotta go. Nobody is really using these little baby spoons anymore. So I went here and this cup is actually really, it was super cheap and no one ever uses it, never. An old Nokia phone from New Zealand. What, with a crack screen. That can go. It was easier than I thought to find 60 items in my house to get rid of. We had so many household items we didn't use. Four huge bins of baby stuff. Here is the before. This is everything. I was storing a ton of newborn stuff, but we decided we aren't having any more children. Gone through everything, and these two bins are going to be donated. My closet is an ongoing declutter. I'm finally gonna get rid of these jeans. Garage sale, so I'm gonna add this into the garage sale. Here I'm streamlining how many towels we have. We had too many. And they're still in the package from six years ago. I'm gonna get rid of this. I never use this, ever. So there we go, that is looking a lot better. We only have two kids and we had over 20 cups. A year later, this is what this looks like. Declutter. Decided to get rid of all of these work pants because they've shrunk in the dryer. 
So he has his own process. He's pulling out keeping. He knows right away what he wants to get rid of, and then he has a maybe. Here's the after of the tank top drawer. I don't think we need this many extra hangers, so. Now we have this drawer of shirts. Here's the after. There's the after of the closet. Here's the after of the drawers. So along with his file of stuff, I'm also gonna be getting rid of this shirt of mine. These are also going in the donation pile. And this lamp is also going in the donation pile. Going through my files was a huge task. I don't know why I filed away so many unnecessary things. I was able to get rid of this huge pile, all these folders, and it is taking way longer than I thought it would take to go through all this paperwork. After spending hours, that is the bag of paper. So this is where the file cabinet used to be, and now it is nice and open. In the end, I was able to get it down to one tiny box. Here we go with my closet again. I had so many items of clothing that were way too big. I was able to get rid of quite a few bags. Um, and that's quite a lot to donate. I am getting rid of blown out flip flops. I'm so happy with how organized my closet looks now. So as you can see in this pile, I actually found even more things to, no to donate. So all this stuff amounted to this humongous trash bag. I would have never even thought that I still had this much stuff to get rid of. And there's probably even more, but. A little over a year of decluttering and I'm still able to get rid of all these unused items. If you look behind Emmett, you can see how much stuff we used to store in our kitchen. Now I try to keep our counters clear. Look at how much stuff used to be in our living room. We finally decided to hang our TV and get rid of this yes. cupboard to simplify the area and make it look much bigger in here. After a year of decluttering, we decided to hang our TV and that allowed us to get rid of the TV stand that was there. And we switched out the IKEA chair cover from red to that white color. And we got rid of three tables that used to be in this room. After a year of decluttering, we decided to take two shelves out, so it went from eight to six shelves, and now we store way less stuff on here. It didn't seem like we had that much stuff to declutter, but even a year later, we are still getting rid of stuff. These are all the items that we decluttered over the entire year. So what has changed? We now have way more room in our house. My shopping habits have changed. I'm super picky when I do buy something and I try to get high quality items. I don't shop as often, less time cleaning and organizing, and everything in my house has a place to live. Comment below, what are some things that have changed in your life from decluttering? I can't believe we had that much stuff in our house that we weren't using. Uh, that is what our entire year of decluttering has looked like so far. I feel like we're at a really good place right now, but of course there are still things that I'm finding we aren't using an entire year into this process. Uh, if you would like to join my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I make videos about simple living and our family becoming minimalist. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hit subscribe and tap the bell to see more videos.